to my channel. So tonight I'm going to show you by request how to make the croc picture. Um, I had originally done these. These were up in my kitchen for and I'm gonna link who I learned them from also, but I also will in this video show you, give you a tutorial. But they are kind of small, as you can see. They're about the same size as the ones I did in the giveaway. And um, I wanted something bigger because I always felt like I needed to put a bigger, like something above the pictures in that on that wall space. So. What I did was I got some more of that wood that I used for the noodle board I made, which was um, nine and a half inches wide, and I cut three pieces 16 inches long. So um, it, it turned out perfect for that space. Now I don't feel like I need anything above it, and it gave me more space to put the um, crock in. So it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, I can't wait to show you how to do it. Um, so tonight I pulled the winner of the um, giveaway from last week that I posted and there weren't that many entries but that's okay because you know your odds are better on here than on the Powerball so um, the winner was Anjali Nanda and I um, sent her a message um, in that video a comment and gave her my email address so she could just reach back out to me and I will get it shipped out to you. So congratulations. I'm so happy for you and I'm so glad that all of you are part of this new family. And I really can't wait to show you all of my, my projects. So anyway, back to it. For these, I had used a canvas. I just bought some canvas and then painted them on here, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to, like I, for the ones that I made, I just used the pieces of wood. But I have also picked up these old signs from, like, this one I got at Habitat for Humanity, and it was $3. So, I mean, you can just paint over it, which is why I purchased this, so that I can just do something different on it. Um, I have, like, an old Christmas sign in my um, closet that I'm not gonna use anymore. It's just dated and I, I want something different next year. So I'm saving it so that I can paint over it and do something different. Yeah, you can just do it on anything. You can make pillow covers. So at Ikea, they sell, you know, um, pillow inserts, not pillow inserts, but the pillow covers. So you can do this design on them. Um, in the video, I will tell you a little story of how I started doing things like this. And what, the paints that I used when I first started were like just the little um, craft paints. And the image turned out perfectly. I loved it. They, they were great, but it wasn't the best quality for everyday use. I mean, I think if I were just making pictures like this, it would be perfect. But I was putting it on pillows, um, and so the paint cracked over time. So just, you know, you just want to, if we're going to put it on a pillow cover, you might want to use a different type of paint. I think chalk paint, you may be able to like heat set it. Um, mineral paint, I don't think that you have to do anything. It'll, it'll stay. So um, just do a little bit of research for whatever application you're going to do it for. But if you're just going to hang it on the wall, I think you can, you're pretty much safe with whatever you're comfortable using. So yeah. Uh, I can't wait to show you how to get this done. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was I put a top coat on the boards. I used casement and fusion mineral paint because I'm putting um, transfers on it. Um, it has a built-in top coat and I won't feel like I need to. Sometimes these transfers, if you don't use a um, top coat, they don't always adhere. But this one I haven't had any problems with. So I started off with three boards. 
I painted the boards in Fusion Mineral Paint casement. You can use any kind of chalk paint you want, but if you're going to put transfers, which I'm going to do, you're going to want to seal it first. But Fusion a Mineral Paint has um, a top coat already built into it. I just use that and I wanted a white you can do whatever color you want to but my crock is going to be like an off-white color so I wanted it to be able to stand out. I'm going to use the Crackleer stamp. Now they normally come in full sheets but um, I cut it just to make it easier for me to use and it just gives it that grazed crackle look on it like you know you would with old pottery. Using the Kindest Regard stamp. Also using the crockery stamps and you can see there are a lot of different stamps and they just very realistic. I have a variety of transfers. This one is the botanical. I have a, a bunch of other transfers that I have pieces left over in and I have japonica. That, oh and one more that I haven't used that I'm kind of excited to use is entomology. And it has just all sorts of butterflies and moths and birds and frogs and fish. So we'll see what looks good. And we have some space to fill in. I'm going to make the crock a little bit bigger, of course, and um, just see how it goes. So first off, you're going to want to draw on here. And the way she taught me to do this was you're going to draw a wide smile. Let's see if you can see this. You'll draw a wide smile. You can do it like off centered. It doesn't have to be in the center. I wish you could see Top and bottom. You don't even and then I'm going to use my tape. See, I don't know if you can see that, but. I did a wide smile at the top and bottom. And maybe I could have put my tape down first and then did it. I don't know, let's see how accurate my lines are. But even if they're not accurate, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, come on, who's gonna judge? So that's the top and the bottom of my crock. And then you can just finish out your your um, circle here. I think that I should have rounded those a little bit more. Okay. And then you can just kind of meet that over here. So it looks so, uh, like a cylinder, right? It looks good. I am going to, I'm going to create that little lip at the top. So I'm just going to follow my line along and finish it off. So now it's kind of resembles a crock and then we'll just paint it and add some shading so that it resembles it even more. But let me tape this off because I don't want it to bleed through. I need sharp lines. the top part also just so that you see I'm gonna follow that line I made with the tape just so that I have sharp lines
let me mix my paint. I just took some paper plates out here and I'm gonna use chalk paint because that is what I have. I have drop cloth. I'm doing dishes, so if you hear noises, that's what it is. Let me put a little bit of this down. This color is drop cloth. And it's like a creamy white. But I'm going to be painting the base of my um, crock in. You can see, I can still see my lines through there and it's dry now. So I'm gonna add some shading. For this, I have two different browns that I'm gonna use. Um, I'm going to use, I have chocolate here. I think I have enough of that. But I have Medpo and it's by Dixie Belle. It is a little bit lighter. So I think that'll be good for the shading. I need to add some drop cloth in it to just make it a little bit lighter, I will do that. But let's see how this works. I feel like this brush is too big. Okay, I have a smaller one. Change a bit in my heart. Your words have never been wrong. You are my own safety zone. You're solid like a granite stone. It came very sudden. My rim now it doesn't need to be that dark so maybe I lighten it up a little bit I'm looking at a crock I have up on top of my um, cabinet but I think mostly I need to light uh, like darken it shade it underneath here so let me add a little bit of this drop cloth to what I have mixed up just to get a little lighter, but a little darker than the drop cloth itself. Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, so. And I'm just gonna pull it down. Um, if it's off to the side, I think probably this shot side should be shaded. And then kind of lighten here. would be underneath my rim. I'm going to blend it in since maybe I made a mistake on this side. So it gets wider over here. Okay, now inside of my crock should definitely be darker. Now, if you totally mess it up, it's not going to matter. I mean, this is really just for you. So, 
I'm going to pull some of this down. And I'm going to shade on this side here. Under the lip here of, of where my crock is, I've added some shading, but definitely on this side because my crock is kind of, to me, turned that way. And I'm shading this side of the crock. All right, I'm going to leave well enough alone. And maybe leave this a little bit wider on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I think it looks okay for me. I've got a little bit of shading on one side of my crock. First, I'm going to do my trim. So I want to, the crocks that I love has like blue lines through it. Liberty Blue by Fusion Mineral Paint. I'm gonna follow the line that I gave for the rim and I am going to just start over here. go along the great thing about crocs are that they are hand-drawn right so when you do yours and it's hand-drawn it could look pretty accurate, I think. I have some Crocs where it looks like they used a magic marker and it just kind of blended. I think I want to do one. Oops, did I get paint there? Maybe I'm going to have to do mine there now. I guess I will. Okay. I guess I'll be doing it right here. I was going to do it at the bottom, but this will work. All right, so because I did that, it kind of limits the size I can use for my crock. Okay, I think I, I have this one. If I do it off to the side, it follows my shading. Oh, I like this one. This one's small and I think it's more fitting. I think that'll work. I have a brayer and you can see I didn't clean it. That's my fault. Now, if I had ink, I would totally do that because you, all of your images are so much more precise when you use ink, but I don't have it. I just have the paint and I'm trying to use what I have. So I'm going to put this down. You put it down and you commit. So, and then you tickle your 
stamp as they say how cute that looks I'm always I'm always um, impressed with them I don't mind that it's off center that's how I wanted it I mean I could have put it in the middle I just wanted it to look more I don't know real I guess so look how pretty that is I love it okay so now okay so I'm using chocolate I don't have very much left but I'm using chocolate by Dixie Belle I have added just a little bit to my plate I also put just a teeny bit of water because it's kind of thick just I mean I just dipped my brush in there you know shook it off a little bit and then try to spread it around some so let's see if that works Oops. okay so where is my stamp here it is this is the crackler stamp and I'm gonna put it in like some of the spots over here of the um, crock I'm hoping enough of it came off so let's see just kind of commit and you rub it in look look how cute that looks and then I think I might have some left over on here try not to get it on outside of the um, tape but yep I got it in the corner here and I'm gonna hmm do I want to go overboard maybe let's try just a little bit more not too much I mean my paint's kind of dry there so let me try here if I can't get a little bit more off of my stamp okay there we are look at that so it looks kind of crackled and grazed like an old piece of pottery okay now we're gonna peel off our Voila! Now you have your crock. Look how pretty that is. I'm always amazed at how look good it looks. Okay, so what I was thinking a few minutes ago is because this board is so much bigger, I probably should have started my crock a little bit lower because now I've got this space here that I have to try and figure out what I'm going to do with. Like, if I was an artist, I could try and figure out how to like put it on a table. Wouldn't that be cool? But because I'm not an artist and I don't know how to draw a table, I gotta try and figure out how to make this look balanced. Like, I don't wanna have all this white space down here. So, let's figure something out. So I want it to kinda, I think, make it look like it's sitting on top of a table. So I'm gonna put a line here. So I suppose it could still be like on a tabletop. There, it's just at the edge of the table. And then, um, I'll just make this like a table tablecloth, right? Oh, um, I'm winging it here. So let's see. Oh, I just I can't get over how cute that looks so um okay I want to add another stamp to the top before my paint totally dries out I want to add um kindest regards stamp I'm going to put that towards the top the kindest regards is really just it's like a letter and I don't even know what it says but just be gibberish or it could be in French who knows I think it's a little mixed because I've got some of that drop cloth in there but that's okay that'll be all right okay I think this will be fine here let's do this side
there. Okay, so it's just a little bit. It's not too much and it's not too crazy, so I'm good with that. Now I'm gonna work on my tablecloth. We're gonna just try and do our tabletop here. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I do want all of this to blend in and I don't want it to be that dark. Just my lines here. So, let me just add some water to this. I'm doing the top of my brush here and I'm now I'm just dragging it down I've wet it down some and now I'm just dragging the water down because I really I don't want like just color I want it to be muted which I don't know that I'm actually trying accomplishing right now but really have just gotten my brush wet and I'm dragging it not using any more of my paint because I've got enough on this board that I can look it looks like I have um, some ruffles in here <clears throat> at least that's my theory okay so I just realized that I did not turn the camera back on but what I did was I muted it down some I'm hoping that redeems a little bit of my work here but I think it's looking at just a little bit better I'm going to put like ferns and stuff around on the tabletop and then I'll put like birds or butterflies or something at the top so what I did was I put a little bit of my um, drop cloth in the cup added some water to it and then um, wet it and then dragged it through so that it muted and blended all these colors um, just so that it appeared a bit, a bit lighter. So now maybe it looks like it's on a table. I pulled these down and then blended at the top. So it looks a little darker on the top. 
I still, and I muted out the line that I put in some. I, I feel a little bit better about it. But like I said, my next crock is gonna start lower so that when I do a tabletop, I can just blend it and make it look like light shining on it. And I'll show you that one um, soon. Or I'll just attach it to the end or this video is gonna be really long. So I'm gonna blow dry this, let it get dry. And then we'll start adding transfers. Okay, so let's see, there's so many pretty burns on here that I can put in this crock. I can have something coming out of it. But I think I wanna just have like some laying around it. Okay, so they had this really pretty um, branch in there. I loved the neutral colors in this. And when you lay it up against here, it just looks so pretty. So I think I'm gonna try and make this work. I can cut this branch off so that a part of it is coming out. I think I will cut off some of this branch because I don't need that. That's too much. Okay, so this here, I don't need all of the branch. I'm going to take some of this branch off. I can cut it along this line. Right, so that it's in my pot. And it'll just flow. But that looks weird, like it's sticking straight up. Things never do that, right? They always, like, lean Hmm. Now, this is not going to cover up my stamp, just so you're, in case you're wondering. I think, I think that'll be nice. I'll just have to make sure that I cut it like there. Cut it right along that top knot there. If I have to add it on, I will. I'll keep these pieces here. So let's see. That'll be here. Oh. There. That'll be good. Look how pretty that is. You know, it's so funny. My, I made that mirror or in that video. I did that mirror and my sister was, not my sister, my mother was like, you need to, okay, no, I don't want it there. My mother was like, don't cover up the mirror. Take that picture, put it somewhere else. Um, there, that'll work. That way you still see all that crock. Look, that's pretty. I had cut out some of these little ferns. This one's pretty. There you go, what do you think? It looks like a table now, doesn't it? I will show you how the others turn out. Thank you for watching and I hope you were inspired. I'm gonna link everybody and all the materials that I used in the description box. Bye.